Okay, I'm doing a quick uh, practice session here on scientific notation. So what you're going to do is look at a number, and then you want to try to change that number into a number between 1 and 10, and that's really pretty easy. We're going to add on a times 10, and then the exponent, you know, if the number is greater than 1, then you're going to have a positive exponent. If it's uh, less than 1, then you can have a negative exponent. And you got to make sure that you're matching the significant figures, and that might be one of the first things that we do. So let's try a few examples. So here I have 3.5. Okay, so if I do my significant figures, I can see those are my five significant figures. So when I rewrite this, I'm going to say 3.5020. So I have five significant figures times 10. Now, because this guy is smaller than 1, I know it's negative, and I can see it's 1, 2, 3 places off from where the 3.5 here got 3. Uh, it moved three times. So that's my answer, 3.5020 times 10 to the minus 3. Here I have a number. This looks like five significant figures. So 3.5020 times 10. Since this guy is greater than 1, then I want it to be a positive exponent. And I can see it's 1, 2, 2 times away from where it was before. So my answer is 3.5020 times 10 squared. Um, let's try this color. Okay, here I've got four significant figures, so I'm going to write 4.900. That's greater than 1, so it's going to be positive exponent, and it's off by 1, so 10 to the 1. This is only two significant figures, so I'm going to write 7.5. That's greater than 1, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4 times, so it's going to be 10 to the 4. And the last one here, I have 5.2. Now that actually is already between 1 and 10, so I can just leave it alone, 5.2, or I can say 5.2 times 10 to the 0. Okay, take a moment here, look these numbers over, to see what you would write them as scientific notation. We'll come back and do them together. So hit pause and think about it. Okay, here we go. 2.5. 0, 0, 7, 4, because that's all 6, times 10, that's greater than uh, 1, so it's 10 to the 1, moved it one place. 1 1.00, 0, 0, that's three significant figures. Okay, I can leave it alone, or say times 10 to the 0. Three significant figures, 8.35, and it's uh, smaller than 0, so it's a negative exponent. And it's 1, 2, 3, 4 times it got moved, so 10 to the negative 4. This is five significant figures. And it's greater than 1, so I'm going to make it a positive, And that's 2 times, so 10 to the 2. OK, that's three significant figures, so 6.00. And it's smaller than 1, so it's going to be negative, And it moved three times, negative 3. Five significant figures, 1.9074, and it moved one, two, three, four times, and it was greater than one, so it's positive four. And the last one, that's three significant figures, so 5.00, and that's greater than one, so it's going to be a positive two, and that's the answer.